My name is Emma and um, I've been at the fish factory for the month of August and the month of July. You went to see the sea today. You walked to the edge of the earth. The sea is footless, without eyes. The dawn yawns, the fog sighs. You see tons of waves licking the shore. You see the bay shuddering as seagulls soar. You see dough like crests, foaming butter. You see water raised into snow. You went to see the sea today. You brought her all your bones. The sea is spineless, she cannot stand. She has no heart, she has no hands. You throw a stone like a fist. You see the woman the mountain kissed. You see an alligator in the fog. You watch yourself become a dog. The soul is an ocean place, you think. A fool holds a seahorse, a fool will sink. You went to see the sea today. You walked to the edge of the pier, where children were fishing with poles by a tub where a stingray lay in gutted decay, fermenting for a feast. Up above, the clouds hover, pregnant with water daughters waiting to fall home. You remember when August would scorch the goat, when you would leap into the ocean's throat. You fell like a cataract into her eyes, like water falls from the broken skies. You saw her halls of holy phthalo, you saw the silence of her viridian halo. Wave child, she says, wave child. You are forever chasing waves. You are a glow with breakers. All of blue collides. She tremors, then flops. The sea unhooks you without claws. The sea unwinds you from her shores. You went to see the sea today. What you found you'll never say. But the way of a wave is to wave and wave, and to wave at the waves is the water's way. So, on the first day we got here in Iceland, we stopped at a charity shop and they were giving away books for free and I picked up a stack of old magazines and I also picked up a copy of, of Virginia Woolf's The Waves, which is a book that I had read before but um, hadn't really, um, uh, I don't think I'd really managed to enter it fully so I sort of brought it with me as a reminder of processes that have begun a long time ago and continue in me. Um, in the first few weeks of July settling in here I was very excited about the possibilities of being in this magical place and one of the things I started to do was to come out here on the docks and um, just make videos of the waves, um, mainly as a, a meditational practice, um, t returning to the eyes I have in my head and the consciousness that they are portals into. Um, so every day I would I would come and see the same patch of the sea, but of course with the sea it, it can never be the same. Um, there's a Buddhist teaching um, that says that waves are the practice of the water and to think of water apart from waves is delu delusional. Um, this has been really like an opening teaching for me because I've for so long of my life been struggling with this idea that there is a, a, a place where I can get to if I work really hard, where my mind will be still and calm and I will be able to be in control of my internal weather. But actually coming to this place, this fjord, where the weather is constantly changing and where the waves are constantly changing, where my mind is constantly being changed by those elements, it's been like a real um, process of grounding um, grounding in the fact that everything does change. So, um, looking at the waves was like looking into myself and I would find a home in them every time even though they didn't look like anything I'd seen before. Um, so I ended up working on a 
project that became a video installation, which um, I called The Sea Inside. And it was a, a, a one hour long video that could be played on loop uh, till the end of time if need be. And it was um, composed of um, these videos of the waves in grayscale, um, slowed down to the point where they became um, real abstractions. And what I wanted to do with this video was draw attention to the grey matter inside us that makes up our memory, that makes up the kingdom where we're constantly like roaming about as, as selves. And um, I wanted to create a space where the waves could take up all the frame that there could be nothing else to focus on besides the waves because I think we're always busying ourselves in such a way that, that we are um, trying to be with other things that is not just how we're feeling or what we're seeing and really that's all there really is. So uh, set up a video inside a chapel and um, invited people to come and be there after 10 o'clock. I wanted it to be really dark outside in the world and I was also interested in creating some kind of holy space. Um, for me, I, I was raised Catholic and um, never quite had any kind of sensation that there was something going on there, but have always remained very interested in this idea of, of of holiness as, as a moment of light um, and clarity where the fog suddenly makes sense because without the fog and the darkness, light, light loses its powers.